In Creo 9, you will have available a new associative in-process stock model functionality. I'll show you how it works. Using this scenario with multiple toolpaths for a mold, core, and cavity, selecting the first HSM rough sequence as a reference step and the previous stock model being the corresponding workpiece. The first thing you will notice after clicking OK is that in the footer, there will be a stock model section with a newly created in-process stock model. But no stock model is displayed on the graphic window. You should go and explicitly activate the stock model. It's at this step where it will be computed and displayed. Now we can see it. The rest roughing is a special case because the new in-process stock model can be used now as a valid reference, meaning that you don't need to create and manage different STL files anymore. Now, we can define another stock model for the rest rough sequence using the previous stock. Another aspect you will notice is that only one in-process stock model will be active per workpiece. Let's create a stock model for the mold core as well. Now selecting the other workpiece in the NC assembly. Let's activate it. We have now displayed two stock models, one for each workpiece. Another command related to, to this is under the manufacturing geometry. It's called update all stock models. This command is useful when I save and retrieve a manufacturing assembly, as in this implementation, we are not saving all the heavy geometry associated with potentially many individual stock models inside the manufacturing assembly. You may need to execute this command in case you don't have available all the binary files created when computing the stock models. As this can take some time, we are asking for your confirmation. This in-process stock model is a fundamental milestone project to further improve the multitask machines programming capabilities in QNC. Thank you.